He is so tall, latches onto everything, and we were hyper exposed down the right flank. Harvey Barnes, great cross, great finish from Isaac. And he's gonna put in a fantastic ball. I can feel it, I can see it. It's Branthwaite, of course. Oh my God, it's off the post. You have to start thinking. Could this be our Leicester City season? Josh Madger with the goods, Kuzo with a fantastic run and the assist. We somehow, some way, against all odds, we just keep defying them. We keep saying no. We keep saying we're going to score this goal. We keep saying we're going to keep this clean sheets. Or we're going to make sure that we don't concede. Somehow, some way, this team still keeps going. The next step is here. Hey, my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic damn day. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to show you guys. You know, the, the Premier League top goal scorers and sisters and clean sheet takers and all that good stuff. And as you can see, Sanko is currently in second place. Two goals behind, league leading, Alexander Isaac. Which is not too bad, as well as, if you can see, I will obviously go down a little bit. We've got the likes of Matt O'Reilly in 12th place on 10 goals in 26 games. That's very impressive if you ask me for a midfielder. That is fantastic. In terms of the assists departments, Jed Wallace, our captain. He is leading the way with 16 assists. That's nine clear of the second place Diaz and Tonali. So I'm very happy with that. And then a, a bit of a shock, but I didn't realize that Woodman was actually up there in terms of the, the clean sheets area. So I'm very happy with it. I thought we would be slightly further down and I thought other teams would have had a few more clean sheets here and there. But nonetheless, very, very happy. Now, let me show you guys the schedule ahead. Okay, so it is a massive month up ahead. We've got the likes of Newcastle United at home, thank you. Then we've got a massive derby up against Wolves. And then we'll end off the episode oh, at home, I need to it away, but at home to Chelsea, who have got Nkunku as well as Nicholas Jackson in like the top 10 goal scorers for the Premier League so far this season. So they've got uh, quite a few goals in them. And I'm very scared, I'm very nervous as the season starts winding down. Of course, it will finish off next weekend, so stay tuned for that. But let's hop on straight into our home game up against the likes of Newcastle United. Okay, kicking things off here. Newcastle, they're going to be very hard, very tough to break down. Currently, they're like 11 or 12 points behind us. They're in seventh place. They obviously are going to be pushing for European glory. But we're going to try and prevent that. We're obviously pushing for other honors so far this season. And I'm looking very forward to seeing how the season can potentially wind down. Oh, no. Well, that is just not clever. Not clever whatsoever. Harvey Barnes pacing it down this left flank or the right flank, and it's a it's a great goal. And that's why he's the leading goal scorer in the Premier League. He is so tall, latches onto everything, and we were hyper exposed down the right flank. Harvey Barnes, great cross, great finish from Isaac. Jeez, look at this. They they are bopping the. Okay, they. This is prime Barcelona. Look at this. Look, look. The, what? Can't even tell with their green kit. Oh, I can't tell with their green kit. Like it is blending with mine for some reason, and I'm not able to pick up these players. Okay. Please. Please. Oh, you, you, you're, you're joking me, mate. You're absolutely joking. Me. He's. Not even facing the guy, and I shoot straight at his planted foot. Elmeron down this right flank. They're going to try and work in across or something. Why can't I get my hold of my players? There we go. Good tackle. That's a foul, ref. He's fouled me on the edge of the box. Look, and and Sosa's now injured. That that if that is not a foul, I don't know what is. Great ball into Lloyd Kelly. Lloyd Kelly into some space, into Sanko, and there, there you have it. Okay, come on, gentlemen, focus, 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 focus. Sosa is, is like slightly hurt. I hope he can somehow pull through because we are so incredibly short in that department of, of obviously having a, a central defensive midfielder that the likes of Riedewald for the rest of the season will absolutely cripple us. So I'm hoping he can pull through. Good goal by Sanko, good finish. We need to obviously score two more, but the pressure is now on. Oh, great save, Woodman. Great save. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are going to make some changes. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so stressed for this game, but Sosa is out. Rita Vault, he's going to have to come in. Um, 
Haksabanovic, he's going to come in for Sanko. And yeah, Madge is going to also come in. God damn it, this is, this is so bad. Come on, gents. If you can try and secure a point, that would be great. Last five minutes of the game as well. Look at this passing, though. This passing is crazy! <laughs> this passing is mad. Um, Tyrese Forney, you're coming on for Matt O'Reilly, who has done next to nothing in this game. Five minutes or so to go. Can we try and hit them on the break from a corner? We flicked it on. It's ended up still in their possession, but it's come back to us. Holding them off quite well. And then it's a big... Oh, Jesus. Into Madja. Lays it off nicely. Where's the support runs? Okay. Here we go. Lloyd Kelly. Big time players make big time plays. Kelly gets a corner kick. And this, is, this will definitely be the last corner. The last movements of the game. Big time players make big time plays. I've overdone it. I've overcooked it. And it's strange to the palms of Pope. And we lose the game 2-1 after going down two goals early on in this game. We've also lost Sosa, which is not great. What a fantastic start to the episode. Eddie Howe with his smug look. You're in seventh, mate. Know your place. Okay. Okay, I can I can deal with that. Venetia Sosa out for only five days. Okay. I was stressing, like... Oh, because obviously, guys, <laughs> Rudevelt is an adequate backup, but he's not an adequate replacement, if that makes sense. So at least it'll only be out for five days. He should be back for the Wolves game then. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to obviously run medical tests and make sure that he is fully fit and ready to go. But I am really happy with the fact that it's only five days. Okay. Just before the Wolves game, Sosa said, you know what? I'm feeling much better. I'm ready to play. I hope you can get me back in the team. You are a massive freaking player for us, Venetius. So I'm glad that you are so dedicated to the side. Press conference time. Okay. So <laughs> they're talking about the Premier League title here. They say we weren't favorites and now all of a sudden we've come out of nowhere. Well, we'll give it everything we can to try and make sure that we can finish as high as possible. But right now, things are not looking fantastic for us. We are on the back of a loss. We need to bounce back from that and see where we can go from there. One point ahead of City at this point. Obviously, Liverpool have game in hand, but they're still five points behind us. So the chasing pack are there, or thereabouts. And us surrendering those three points to Newcastle so cheaply, in the way that we did, it's not going to fly with me. So we need to bounce back against Wolves. Obviously, a very tough game. It's a derby. We need to show that we are here and we mean business. Wolves, obviously, are always a very hard, tough opposition to play up against. So things are going to get quite spicy in this one. You can tell already. Pick up your man. Pick up your man. Branthwaite. Get there, please. Oh, Branthwaite. Massive last second block. Can't even save it from a... Okay, it can't be. Oh, well, so far so good. I will say this. For, for pace, our team has been slightly exposed um, this season. So maybe looking for a slightly faster center back. I mean, Dan Ballard is not the quickest. Branthwaite's definitely not that quick. But he still gets away with it because of his, obviously, his his positioning, his size. But yeah, we, we might need to look at a, a faster sense back for the next season. Watch him, watch him, watch... That is, that is, that is absolutely goddamn poor to allow Neto to just, just to put it on his left foot and ping it straight past the goalkeeper. That is ridiculous. There's nothing more Wolves would want than to see a West Brom title charge fail jed wallace though jed wallace oh jed wallace great run off of the shoulder of the of the, the last man there and he's going to put in a fantastic ball i can feel it i can see it it's branthwaite of course oh my god it's off the post there we go great ball into connor bradley connor bradley chips it into Sanko. Sanko takes a good touch and he's put it in the back of the net. 1 1, 32 minutes gone by. Restored parity. We have definitely been the better side. Venetia Sosa. There we go. Great run from Sanko. And what a save from Saar. That is crazy. Okay, come on. We were close with that last corner. Can we get it to go with this one? Yes, we can. Branthwaite, you are slow. But God, I love you on the corners, man. Jeez, he is amazing. This kid is pure talent. 
It's just before half time. We can't concede just before half time, please. Off the cro off the crossbar. To be fair, we've hit the crossbar. They've now hit the crossbar. That makes things all square. Pick up your pick up the runners. Pick up your men. Surely that's offside, referee. What? Wow. Okay, it's two two. Oh my god. Lovely ball. Sanko plays into Matt O'Reilly. And it's saved. Saar is keeping West Brom level at the moment. God. We're not going to make any changes just yet. The likes of Jed Wallace, please. On the head of Branthwaite. Oh, it is. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're still not making subs just yet. Come on, please. On the head of Branthwaite. Oh, oh. It's looking. It's looking great. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We've got corner after corner, hour after hour, back post. Saw, he's there. I don't know why I keep putting in so much flipping power on my corner kicks these these days. Um, Sanko is going to come out for Madja. Madja knows what it takes to win a a, a derby like this. Kuto is also off. Um, the likes of Williams will come on for Kelly. I think they are bypassing Kelly just a little bit down that left hand side. And then I am going to keep things as is for now. We'll make some more changes later, potentially. Great ball in from, from Sanko to Kuto. Kuto, back post. And it's Captain Wallace. Just before the subs come on as well. 3-2 up. Come on, those subs need to come in here for 20 minutes and game manage the stuffing out of the second half. Good tackle. Come on, pick up pick up the runner. Pick up the runner. There we go. There we go. Matt O'Reilly, what, what, what are you doing, mate? Matt O'Reilly is looking like a shadow of the player who we signed in the beginning of the season. God. They're taking it short. They're trying to do some, some weird things here, but they don't know. We're going to break their flipping set piece. BS. Washington again to take the corner. Why is their striker taking the corner? And it looks like... What a save. Okay. Um... Have they signed Ferran and Torres? I, 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 all I'm seeing is Torres. That's the only Torres I can think of right now. Unless they've signed Paul Torres, which wouldn't make much sense, but regardless. There we go. Haksabanovic, she's won the ball back very well. Brandon Williams this time. Trying to pick up Neto. Watch the watch the back pass. No, 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 no. Please, please not like the Jesus Christ. Please! Somebody, oh my god, I love you, Woodman. I absolutely adore you. Okay, come on. There's a minute to go on this one. Saar is up for the corner. They put it in a really good area. Sosa's there, though. Venetia Sosa is there. And Magic just boots it away for a 3-2 win. Squeaky bum moments in this one. Late on in the game, they could have had a chance. They could have had an opportunity. Flipping my goalkeeper, you know. Woodman getting in the way, stopping, preventing been keeping them out okay so just to show you guys some behind the scenes of the coaching staff and what we're good and good not good at um we have quite a few defensive coaches here and they've just recently found a five-star coach so we are going to release the likes of bell and we are going to hire the five-star coach who is in the midfield i'm pretty sure yes he is okay so henry welcome to the team welcome to the club hopefully you can help instill a fantastic title winning foundation to our midfield um but yes we've obviously got some really good coaches in our side from season one we've been building them up quite well quite nicely a lot of five stars um obviously looking to try and also shift on the four star coaches at this moment in time but on to chelsea okay so taking a look at this chelsea side in the last five games they've won three drawn one and lost one their team doesn't look too bad but it doesn't look overly amazing they're currently in fourth place but they do have goal scorers they've got the likes of Nkunku and Jackson who are up there in terms of the top goal scorers in the Premier League so far this season so they will obviously be an offensive threat but defensively they're looking a bit shoddy at the back there I mean the the defensive rating is only set to 80 so I think that they're there to be had to be fair so we'll see how things go and immediately Jackson trying to isolate himself up against the likes of oh Jackson scores lovely we are that bad right now 
that two minutes into the game, Jackson has bypassed our entire midfield, our entire back line. I tried to go for the side tackle with, with Dan Ballard. I'm very happy that he didn't connect, because if he does, it's probably a red card and a penalty, and that's no way to, to try and get back in this game. But right now, we're down 1-0. Lovely. How has he done that? How has he managed... How, how did he manage to slip that man in? Come on. Sanko lays it off to Cullen. I mean, Matt O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly plays in Kuto. Kuto running with the ball. How are they so much faster than my players? Like, that's all I want to know. Into Lloyd Kelly. Lloyd Kelly back in. It's okay. It's all right. Hold him off, Sosa. Matt O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly! I've slated this man, but he's popped up with a massive freaking goal for us. Thank you for staying on side as well. I wasn't too sure, but Sosa plays in Matt O'Reilly. Matt O'Reilly puts it in the back of the net. We need to go and score that second goal now, please. Massive ball out wide to Kuto. Kuto in the space. Bowie. Bowie must be actually really quick. Into Matt O'Reilly again. Found the space off the crossbar. Sanko's there. Wins the header. Gets fouled in the box, Matt O'Reilly, but no foul call. Of course there was no foul call. I had to do that. I had to do that. To be fair, that's not even a yellow card challenge. The player stayed on his feet. We've just fouled him so he can't get through. But I'll take that. that that's, a, that's a really good foul, to be honest. Really good foul. And we are going to bring off Sanko for Madja now. As that's just going to be the only change that we make so far. There we go. Things you like to see. Good ball out wide to Kuto. Kuto. Kuto into Madja. Madja into the back of the net. Oh my days. You have to start thinking. Could this be our Leicester City season? Josh Madja with the goods. Kuto with a fantastic run and the assist. We somehow, someway, against all odds, we just keep defying them. We keep saying no. We keep saying we're going to score this goal. We keep saying we're going to keep this clean sheet. Or we're going to make sure that we don't concede. Somehow, someway, this team still keeps going. The next step is here. Back into Sosa. Sosa has been instrumental for us. Into Kuto. Kuto wins us a corner. Wins us a corner kick. We are going to bring on a few subs later on in this game. It's, it's, there's like two or three minutes to go, but it's okay. It's all right. Haksabanovic, if you come on and you score a goal, fantastic. Capri, you will come on for Ballard. Uh, Riedervolt, you're going to come in as well for O'Reilly. And Williams, you'll come on for Lloyd Kelly. I think, I think that's more or less the change that we need to make. There we go. Big, strong, physical, dominant defensive players. Fresh legs in the back line. That's what you want to see. Now we've got a corner kick here to try and hit some of those bigger targets in the box. Let's go. Wallace, bang, onto the forehead of Madger. And that's, that's killed the game. 3-1 winners. Josh Madger coming off the bench. Two goals to the good. Chelsea, one up in the first half. Great. Chelsea at full time, 3-1 losers. Oh my god. A hat trick off the bench! 4 1! Are you mad? Crumble FC strikes again! Wow. 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 I'm, I'm, my, my breath is taken away by what Madge has just done right here. He is incredible. Crumble FC, man. Oh my goodness me. That, that is a, an elite finish as well. 4 1 winners! After losing 1 0 in the first half, we come out in the second half. Absolutely destroyed the slot from London. Three goals, three shots. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Madja, you are a king, mate. So yes, people, we are going to end things off right here, right now. If you have enjoyed this, please hit that like button. I think we deserve a like for the way that we absolutely destroyed Chelsea in the second half. We beat Wolves. The way that we beat those teams was incredible. I don't know exactly where we are currently in the table, but you guys will have to come back next weekend to find out. Obviously, next weekend is the final two episodes of season number three. We have a chance at winning the Premier League title. We have a chance at being the next Leicester City. Can we finish off our fairy tale with a happy ending. I don't know. You guys are going to have to come back for that next weekend. But until then, have a damn great day. I'm out.